Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 80 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. I finally finished my business here in chapter 6, so I'm about to go and return to chapter 7. So, I've got an hour long battle ahead of me. No, I just remembered. Yes, I can't upgrade anybody, but I want to clear out my inventory so that I can recruit all the angels I can. Who knows when I'll get a good chance to recruit more angels. And if you go back to the stage afterwards, you get six angels per visit. I'm going to get a hundred and on returns, six. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Well, it'll be a moment for you. Alright, here I am. That took a while. It's pretty hard collecting a hundred angels in one round. But now I'm back in chapter 7, so let's take a look at our new stuff. First, there's another castle expansion. I need aquatic beast fins. Well, I've got two so far, so I'm close. Oh yes, this time when I fought through those angels, I got an angel glove off of one of them. It's a rare drop, but I'll make another one. You know, just for the MEGA POWER! Ah, this is important. Although it'll take the only Yuichiri honey we have, the Suima shield will give our magic users a way to capture enemies. The hell, why not? I could use more. Various things. Here's a flight ring, flight armband, like we got off of Mikshuana when we defeated her. And these are improved versions of your four fairy necklaces. Instead of adding plus two to your resistances of their respective elements, it adds plus three. Yes. No, oh, and now I can build the two-floor house in gray, anyway. Yes. And that's worth it. Shut up, D. Shut up, D. But I'm going to need some of this for that house. So that was high-quality clay I bought. Yes. Yes. Now, let's drop these three small gray houses and put down the two-story gray house. Since it counts for three, it clears, clears up some space for me. You know what, I'm going to get rid of this. It adds to my defense value, or fortification value, perhaps would be a better way to term it. Because when I get to place, you know, those defensive, in, place the defensive emplacements for certain battles, it would boost their defenses. But really, I rely on my characters more than anything I place. Now, what was there going to place? Nice. Another one of these reds. And I don't think there's any way I could turn it into more formations, so I'll just leave it there for now. And let's put down more trees. I never get tired of these. Oops. Green. No, 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 no. Yeah. Now I've got... Since I put down the fenced house in red, we also have a plus one to our fire resistances. 
Yep, being resistant is pretty fun. Now back to the workshop. Actually, I'm going to make a bunch of these and disassemble them, as well as I got a bunch of broken spears in that battle with the angels, so I'll disassemble those. Yes. Now I've got a ton of light and dark. Uh, that can wait. For the Suima shield. Yes. If I'm going to have my magic users use it, yes. I better make sure it's good, right? So this is an interesting piece of equipment because it has a link and it's the only one required for that link. I've noticed that in clashes it seems to... When you have two links available, you only get one. This one seems to take priority, but... There could be rules I'm unaware of. In any case, the link it gives is... Capture Master. Giving us the classic Iruza no... Iruza's net shot. Well, they call it a net, but if you see the animation, it's just a rope like the regular captures. So that's that. Now... One hundred angels. That's a lot of angels. Well, you might think it's a lot of angels. At first I was kind of concerned that... Perhaps... I would gather too many of those damn one-star hammer enemies. When I actually needed more of the higher... When I needed more three stars. But later on I did the math. Yeah, well, did the audition anyway. And it turns out all I... I could actually use 72 one-star angels. And since I can hold 100 angels, that would be 72% of my holding capacity. You see, I'm good at math. So anyway, you don't need to worry about that your first time going through that map. But I might need to worry about it in the future because I'm using a lot of these guys. And you may have heard me complaining about my all my Yuki having low magic defense. These angel sacrifices. Are they sacrifices? What do they do? It, they call it training. So do they train with them? Or do they eat them? Nobody knows. In any case, when you use angels, it increases your magic defense. So my characters are now getting pretty impressive magic defense. Even Yorin here, who only gets three, actually gets pretty good magic defense at this point. Oh, another resurrect power for you. Multi hit, that's good too. Human killer! Oh, we fought some poltergeists with that once. It's a real pain. Well, if I ever have to fight humans or demi-humans again. Whoops. And this is where a great bulk of... ...the one stars can go into. In order to get I and U up to... ...minus three... ...in their... ...holy defenses. You need to sacrifice 15, whoops, 15 holy enemies in total to both of them. 
これでいいかし成長したみたいよ。これでいいかしら成長したみたいよ。Hell man。So at this point I could still use 15 of those hammers。But I'm flat broke。またいずれね、私のことはお構いなく。I'm glad I took the time to empty out my cages before I went to that map。Boy。So here we go with the plot. Man, I've always gotten sleepy. Ah,、uh, you see, he stayed up late working on something again. But as he's headed back to bed, he sees Fia enjoying the scenery. Uncharacteristically, she looks a bit melancholy. So, Avaro comes up beside her and speaks. What you looking at? <laughs> no answer here. She asks Savaro if he can't sleep or isn't sleeping. If he works too hard, he's, it's bad for his body. Hey, right back at you. Girls need to sleep at night or else it's bad for their health. Even if she doesn't worry about her health, her, her, skin is, her skin is always going to be supple and she'll never give it a wrinkle. Because she's a goddess. Is that so? The way she spits it out so quickly actually makes it a little bit suspicious. Man, it's gotten close. We're able to see it now. You know, we were able to see it in a cutscene in like part 27. But maybe they're saying it's because the sun's rising they can see it now as opposed to earlier in the night. Nah, you can see fairly well under moonlight. In any case, that thing's glowing. But still looking at it from here, she doesn't know what'll be in it. Well, yeah, it's always enveloped in clouds. So, according to the rumors, due to the thick mists and the clouds covering it, you lose your way easily. And if you try and go in, you'll sure to meet with disaster. Interesting for rumors. In any case, if you go on foot, you get to such a high altitude you can't ascend any further anyway. <laughs> hmm. A wipeout, huh? Feels hurt a bit too. In this Fuchsia Faith holy ground. From the various people living in the castle. So it's like at the highest point on the mountain, there's a castle floating in the sky, or like there's all tons of golden treasures sleeping there. Or, like, if you get there, the god will answer, will grant any wish. This is a bit hard for Fia to say, actually. Or, like, There are the weapons and soldiers that Fuchsia raised in order to save a god way back when.
the weapons and soldiers in or raised in order to save a god. You remember that? Oh, what was it? It was one of the seven green pillars of the forest. Pariah. Fuchsia as a mortal saved Pariah, a god, and got deified. Well, with, of course, weapons and soldiers. So, she is worried. It's only natural. Not only do you not have your memories, you just found out about the true nature of your power. It's only natural you'd be uneasy now. Yep, yeah, pretty unbelievable stuff, that. She thought that the castle was part of her power, and now she finds it's... Uh, quite the opposite, in fact. Fia might very well feel like the ground is falling under, out from under her feet at this point. For all that, she's actually kind of strong, isn't she? So, she apologized for making Avaro worry. Avaro can tell she's acting lively, but it's... She hasn't got the usual spirit behind it. It's a bit hollow. Well, if you're going to make him worry, don't mind about that. Just don't put your, push yourself too hard here. If you're having a hard time, just put words to it that you're having a hard time. So, if she does, will Avaro come and save her? Well, whether I can or can't depends on the circumstances. <laughs> well. What the hell? That's where you're supposed to say you'll absolutely come and save her. Hey, my power isn't that great. Whether I can save you or not, I can't guarantee. But, you know, I can be by your side, and I can be on your side. Good enough for her. So, what bothers Avaro is that he doesn't know what's worrying Fia here. Because she tries her hardest and works all the time on her connections and bonds and things. If you're carrying some kind of worry deep in your heart and Avaro doesn't notice, that really bugs him. Well, you're always trying to smile and being bright and lively. They say an empty liveliness is also liveliness. So <laughs> well, at the very least you can do that, can't you? But in front of me, you don't need to try that hard. You don't need to put on airs that you're not falling apart inside. Don't hold back and rely on Avaro here. And then we can worry about things together. These aren't Fia's problems alone. They're Fia and Avaro's. Well, to tell the truth, probably everyone on the castle would be had happy to support Fia in these kind of things. But if it's just Avaro, he can probably handle it. She asks if it's alright to come over to Avaro a bit. Hey, 
He's your apostle. And furthermore, your lover. If you can't say things to other people, he would like you to say them to him. Hey. <laughs> but because you're you two are lovers, there are also things that she can't say. Hey, quit trying to break the mood here. But Avaro too has things he would rather not show to Fia. You know, in front of your lover, you want to always put on a good face. That's what it means to be a man in Avaro's view. Not that he's going to say that out loud. So it'll be alright. You can tell Avaro everything about your problems. Even if it's no good right now, and even if it's hard on Navarro by himself, he's sure going to... He's sure he's going to find a solution. And whatever solution it is, he'll make it at work. So, looking at Navarro's face, Fia gets a little bit of a thoughtful look. As usual, Avaro's really cool. And you're cute, Fia. As expected of a goddess, huh? <laughs> Today, Avaro seems to be rather kind. I'm always kind. At least that's my plan. Funny, back when they met, he kind of had a cold face as well. And that was because we hadn't known, didn't know each other very well. So, if Avaro's here, Fio will be alright, right? She gets the feeling that as long as Avaro is by her side, no matter what happens, she can continue forward without regret. Regrets. So she takes a deep breath and gives a wistful sigh. You see, she is afraid of herself. She is afraid of the her that's been turned into a taboo weapon. She's afraid of the her from the past and whatever she was thinking at that time and she's afraid of her past that she doesn't remember and now she's very afraid of going to the god's haze well that's what she says but her eyes have a very steady strength in them. To the point where Avaro really doesn't feel like asking her why she feels afraid to go there. Gotta kick you in the balls. Ask her this is important. Uh, anyway. Even if Fia doesn't remember, there is probably somebody who remembers Fia. The Dragon Tribes and the Elves both live quite long lives. So there should be someone who has some information. Yeah, at the very least, we should learn something about the castle. And then certainly, 
We'll figure out a way to separate her from our castle. She is kind of listening, but she also lays her head on Avaro's shorter shoulder, kind of hoping to shut him up. So, don't waver, Avaro, okay? So, always face forward just like that for her. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, what are you going to do? Feel like sleeping? Hmm, <laughs> she'd like to stay like this, just a little longer. Alright, so, let's stay here just a little longer, the two of us. So the two of them watched the God's haze as the sun rose. Now back when I first came to chapter 7, after that scene, there was a scene right here. But, now that I've leveled up Katarito, she has a scene to intervene. Hey, that rhymed. Alright, so we're gonna ask her about Dragon Tribe info. Katarito, are you home? Avaro, what Alright, so, what's up? Isn't she cute when she smiles? She hasn't done it a lot up to now. Okay, anyway. Actually, Avaro has something to ask Katarito. At this point, we're going to be entering into the Dragon Tribe's territory, the Thunderhead Sea. Well, more than entering into or even passing through. Furthermore, we want to meet with the representative of them and have a talk. Oh man, you were smiling until just a moment ago. Okay, sorry. As expected, Katarito is connected to this place. Yep, that's right. She came from the Thunderhead Sea herself. Hmm, okay, if you can tell us anything in this mountain range, whether there's a path that the castle can use to get through it. She doesn't respond for a moment. And in fact, throws a question back. So, if we meet the Dragon Tribe's representative, what will we do? Mm, well, in truth, we have a little problem with the castle. The way it's going, we're going to have to break it down. But, in order to fix that problem, we need to learn more about the castle. We're searching for people who might know things. Like the Dragon Tribes leader. Yep. So, Katorito shows a moment's hesitation, but... Okay. If she can be of use, then... Well, thanks. So, we've got this map. Let's take a look. Alright, so here, there is the Sky Dragon Bridge. If we go through there, the castle should be able to pass. Hmm. 
This is Avaro repeating to himself what Katorito just told us. So, um, this Dragon Tribe's representative, do you know their name? Uh, Karmerg, it seems like. He also has the title of Ice Lord. Katorito is kind of expecting that. Is, is there some connection between you two? That would be an understatement. She clenches up her little fists and shakes a bit. Seems a bit hard for her to put in words. Avar would like to help. So, it'll be alright. You're one of our allies. No matter what happened, we promise to protect you. So if you've got any worries on this point, talk to us. If there's anything we can help you with, we'll be glad to lend a hand. All right, so she closes her eyes energetically for a moment and answers. So, Katorito was attempted to be killed by Karmerg. Well, Karmerg attempted to kill her and ultimately had managed to chase her out of her village. Well, Avar was expecting some kind of connection between the two, but that was a little more harsh than, he ex than his expectation. Yeah, why would he do that? So, her father, or rather, her father, look, there are different terms in Japanese, and the second one is more formal. So, he was the Dragon Tribe's chief. Which means Kalmerg was or rather her father was the one before Kalmerg. Kalmerg. Well, no. Taken properly, Car Carmelg is not yet the tribal chief. <laughs> so, her father died all of a sudden, and with that, what normally would have happened was her daughter, Katorito here, would inherit the position. At least that should have happened. And Kalmer, Kalmerg denied that. Exactly. Yeah, I see. And that's why he tried to kill you. Well, even before, there were many who told Katorito that she wasn't good enough. And for that reason, they're among the clans of the tribe. There were many who were waiting for her father to die. So, aside from Karmer, Kalmerg, there were other people who were aiming to get the chieftain position. Well, 
龍族にはいくつか部族があって Well, Kaltori isn't, isn't, isn't sure about that. But among the dragon tribes, there are many clans. So, Kaltori, her father, and the chieftains before them were the lightning dragons. So there are also Kal Kalmergs, Mist or Haze dragons. Did I call them Haze before? Let's stick with Mist. So they're the Mist dragons. And besides that, there are the Crimson dragons and the Earth dragons. And everybody obeys the tribal chief. So it's a pretty eminent position. And the Thunderhead Sea's representative is also a very important position for the Fuchsia faith. So there are a lot of people, a lot of dragons, that want to become it. And by the way, around the place there are also dragons that can't fly and can't talk. So if we're going to be passing through it, It's going to be dangerous. All right, thanks for telling us all this. So, we've made you remember some rather harsh memories. But thanks to your help, we got a feeling of what we're going to be encountering. We're going to protect the castle for sure. So, be at ease. So saying that, Avaro turned and planned to leave, but Katarito got a bit more. <laughs> so, she would like to know if she can help out as well. Are you really alright? After all, it's your... Well, she's tired of being weak, so together with everyone, she wants to settle this matter. <laughs> she's still shaking as she says it. And Avaro sets his head on, hand on her head. Thanks, you'll be a big help. So let's all head for the Thunder Thunderhead Sea together. All right, she'll give it all she's got. And like I said, here's the scene. The fanfare. So we're headed towards the Thunderhead Sea and everything. Blah, 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 we watch the scenery gradually change. And eventually we come to a stop. Fia, what's wrong? <laughs> Goddess, you're spacing out. Are you alright? Ah, sorry. She was thinking about something. That's a lie. Fia. Mm. <laughs> Mikshan would like to remind Fia that when you're moving the castle, you should pay close attention to the details. 
Alright, she'll be careful. If there are people around, it would be dangerous after all. So eventually we've gotten to the foothills of the mountains. And according to our information, this should be our right to pass. If we're going to pass through, this is probably the only place, in fact. So, there are big mountains here. They seem pretty sturdy. But it is blockaded. If we're going to pass through here, the overseers aren't going to let us let it slide. Well, the dragon tribes do rule this place. Well, it's not like we can let them stop us, though. So, the blockades to stop us? And no. There actually aren't very many people who head for the Dragon's Village. And for that reason, from the beginning, it's just closed off. Kind of a natural barrier, perhaps? And in truth, even she who has lived in the country for so long doesn't know very many people who have passed through here. Uh, Kisner has another observation. In addition to the blockade, it's hard to notice, but here and there, there are traces of blood. Yeah, it seems like it got violent here. And from the scars made on the rocks, it's pretty new. Seems like there was a battle. Ah, Katarito reminds us that the dragon tribes were fighting in order to choose their new chief. Okay, I've got news for them. Their new chief hasn't even joined the fray yet. So, a dragon civil war, huh? Naturally, that it'd be a violent battle. So, from this point on, we need to get through here and talk to the dragon tribes. Although, without a doubt, there's going to be a battle ourselves. We're going to join battle with them ourselves. So take care as we pro as we proceed. Ho ha! So we've got information that we need, and even if we have to pull it out by force, well, it can't be helped. <laughs> So, the first thing we should do is show our power to the people we plan on talking with, hmm? Rishu and Sally is proud of us for this uh, leadership role we've taken. I don't know, hearing that kind of compliment makes me a little ashamed. That's a pretty disorderly way of saying it. But it's true. So, to start with this, let's find a way to get through the castle through here. Mm. 
種族さんたちに話を聞きに行こう私のことを知っているかもしれないもんね All right, so let's talk to the dragon tribes and see if they know anything of our fear Wouldn't that be nice? All right, that was three scenes and a bunch of crafting and training, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.